Hey guys, welcome to Cute Tea Drawings. Today I'll be drawing Upgraded Titan Cameraman. I'll be drawing on my tablet, but you can also follow along on paper, and please remember to like and subscribe. Okay, now let's get started. Okay, I'm going to first start off by zooming in on the head. Let's start with the circle for the camera lens. And then add another one inside. Now on the top corners, let's draw a curve down and out on both sides. Then connect them with the curve at the top. Now for the ends, let's draw lines down. And then a line across the bottom. Now top back up and from the sides, let's draw two small lines out. Then bring it up and in. And then connect them at the top. Then on top, let's add another small rectangle. And then add a small circle inside. Now let's move down to the bottom and let's draw the neck with two lines down and a curve across. And that's it for the head. Now let's move to the sides and let's draw some smaller cameras. On each side of the head, let's draw an angled square shape. And then add another square inside each of these. Then let's add an angled line inside each of the corners. And a circle in the center. Now on top, let's add a skinny rectangle up. And then a wider one underneath. And that's it for the side cameras. Now let's move down and draw the shoulders. We'll start next to the neck and let's draw a long line out and curve it down. And the same on the right. Next, let's add the cameras on top of the shoulders. Let's start on top of the shoulders and let's leave a gap and let's draw a square shape. And then add another square inside. Now from the two inner corners, let's angle it back down to the shoulder. And then another angle from the bottom corner. Next, let's add the hooded piece on top. From the top outside corner, let's draw a small angle up. Then bring it in and curve it down. Then from the top, another small angle up. And then let's follow that same curve over and down. And then one more long angle back down to the shoulder. Next, let's hop on top and let's draw a rectangle shape on both sides. Then the same thing, but a little bit smaller. Then two lines up. And then a square shape at the top of each one to close it off. And now inside that long section, let's draw stripes across.
Now next to this one, let's draw another one in a similar way. We'll start with a bent line. Then two lines up. Then a rectangle shape on top. And add some horizontal stripes inside. And then two more rectangles on top like this, getting smaller as we go up. And that's it for all the upper cameras. Now let's move down and draw the body. Let's leave a gap under the neck and let's draw a circle. And then another one inside. Now on the top left, let's draw a pointed V-shape. And the same on the right. And one underneath. Now at the end of each one, let's add a square shape. And then let's add another square inside each of these. Next on the bottom corners of the circle, let's add a buckle. Let's draw a rectangle shape out on the left side and on the right. Now inside, let's add the buckle. We'll start with the line down, then bring it down, in, over, and down again. And the same on the other side. Next, let's add the inner sides of the jacket. Let's hop up under the shoulders here and let's draw a line down. Let's bring it behind everything and curve it down at the bottom and the same on the right side. Then let's move outwards and let's draw another curve for the outside of the jacket. And then close off each end with a curve across. Next let's move inside and add some details. Let's start at the top, under the shoulders, and let's draw a bent line. And then a larger one all the way down and behind the buckle to finish off the jacket collar. And then let's add some rectangle pockets on both sides. Next, let's move inside and draw the inner shirt. Next to the neck, let's draw two angles down. Then an angle on both sides. And one more bent line down for the collar. Now let's hop downwards and let's draw a curve out on both sides like this for the bottom of the vest. Now underneath, let's draw two curves across for the belt. and then two lines in the center with a square inside for the belt buckle. And that's it for the torso. Now let's move to the sides and add the arms. Let's start from the shoulder and let's continue each of the lines down like this. And the same thing for the inside of each of the arms. and then a curve across to close off the sleeves. Now let's move underneath and draw the hands starting with the right side. Let's draw a curve down and back up for the thumb. And then let's curve it around and back up to close off the hand. Now let's add the weapon on the right arm. Let's start by drawing a rectangle shape and add some stripes inside. 
Now for the top, let's curve it outwards, bring it down, and curve it back in. Now inside this section, let's draw a line down the center, and then add a few lines across. And then a rectangle shape on the right side. Now top to the top, and let's draw a bent line towards the arm. Bring it down and back in in the same way. Next, let's hop to the bottom and let's draw two angled lines down and in. And then a curve across. Next, inside on the left, let's draw a line and a small circle inside. Next, let's hop to the end and let's draw two lines down and close it off at the end. And let's add some curved stripes inside this section. Now underneath, let's draw two angled lines down, then bring it in, and then back up on both sides. And that's it for the right arm, now let's move over and draw the left side. Let's start underneath the arm and let's draw a curve down, over, and back up for the thumb. And now before drawing the rest of the hand, let's add the handle of the weapon. Let's start with an angled line on both sides, and the same thing underneath. And then close off both ends. Now from under the sleeve, let's draw the rest of the hand with an angle down and curve it underneath. Now let's hop to the end and finish drawing the weapon. We'll start with a rectangle shape at the end. Then inside, let's draw another smaller rectangle and then one coming out from both sides. Next, from the end, let's draw two angles coming out like this. And then two more from the center. Next, going across, let's draw a curved line. And the same thing on the left side. And then close off each of the ends with a curve. Now let's hop over on the left side and let's draw two angles up, across, and then two more inside. Now let's move inside and add some details. Let's start with a circle in the center, and then one more inside this one. Now from the top and bottom, let's draw a square shape, and then two lines to the circle. And then inside of the top, let's draw two skinny ovals and two at the bottom. Next from the top, let's draw a V-shaped point out and the same at the bottom. Then add a line down the center. Next, on either side of the point, let's draw a small square. And add a circle inside each of these. And then underneath each of the squares, let's draw two lines down. And the same at the bottom. Now 
Next, let's hop to the sides and let's draw angled lines out. And then a curve across to connect them. Next, let's add another set of spikes coming out from the sides. And lastly, we're going to add three curves at the top only. Stacking them up like this. And that's it for the upper body. Now let's move inside and draw the legs. Let's start in the center underneath the belt buckle and let's draw a line down and bring it up on the right. Then underneath, let's draw two angled lines down and out. Then let's hop to the outside and let's draw a bent line down from under the jacket. Now underneath, let's draw the boots. Let's start with the curve across. Then two lines down on both sides with the outside line being a little bit shorter. Then for the outside line, let's curve it out and then bring it down. Then halfway up the toe, let's bring it over and back up to the heel. Then under the heel, let's draw a line down and then close off the bottom of each foot. And that's it for the legs. Lastly, let's move behind and let's add the wings. Let's start underneath each armpit and let's draw an angled line down. Then angle it out towards the hand. Then from where the bend is, let's add another angled line inwards. Then underneath, another angled line down and out on both sides. And then bring it back up just on the right. Now inside each of these sections, let's add a border towards the top. Next, let's hop underneath and let's draw the bottom section of each wing by drawing two angles down and out. Then close off the bottom of each one. Lastly, let's move inside and add some details. Let's draw another line at the bottom and then a line down across the center. And lastly, four lines on the top section. And that's it for upgraded Titan Cameraman. Now let's quickly color it in. And done. Hope you enjoyed drawing along with me and please remember to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching!